Hello everybody, and this is x Collect with another guide for you, but this time, it's a little different. This is a complete guide to killing the new Slayer monster, the Aurus. A-I-R-U-S, as I can't say it properly. <clears throat> now, in this guide, I'll be telling you the requirements to kill them, the locations where they can be killed, one uh, is Slayer only, um, what equipment I recommend, the attack styles that these monsters use, as there is two different ones, and um, which uh, what I recommend to do in each attack style and uh, yep yeah, so let's get right into this like the requirements for killing these monsters are stay level of 92 or higher this is the only re um, requirement for this um, the recommendations which I will give you is to have 90 plus um, combat stats as these things will absolutely obliterate you otherwise right there are two places where you can kill these it's the Piscatoris Peninsula, um, just down from the camp at the top on the far left, is where they need to, you can kill them, which is imagine what most of you will do. Or if you're on a Slayer task, you can kill them in the Cradle Slayer dungeon, which is in the ancient caverns. Right, this is the equipment and inventory setup which I recommend to use for the Auris, the Aris, whatever. Uh, a chance of gem if you are going for Slayer, if not, then discard that. Emergency teleport just in case because these things do hit bloody hard even through Torva. Uh, lots of food as they do a lot of damage. And uh, sorry, equipment that I recommend would be the best melee armor or range armor that you can, even. Melee or range, depending on which you want to do. As these are both an option to either if I'm going to use melee. So, uh, full Torva for me as I upgraded, recently upgraded my armor. Uh, any boost really, leaving a wolf I would highly recommend unless you are killing these in Kyrgyz dungeon. In that case I would replace this with a ferocious ring. And for me it will be uh, dual dragors and uh, the uh, yeah, best for disaster gloves, the best ones you can. And fury or glory depending and uh, really any cape, skill cape, fire cape, uh, Tahar's um, you know, better cape. <laughs> And that's really it for that. I'm not going to show you the action ball which I'll be using for fighting the Auris. A backhand to stun them, this will be very useful. Especially when they're doing their super mega awesome attack. <laughs> Slice is the uh, thing to use uh, <coughs> in between attacks. Punish, this is best used straight after the backhand as quick as you can, as it will do more damage when they are stunned. And you have Havoc, which is a dual only. Fury, which is a weaker version of Assault. Now we sever it, this reduces the damage that they deal for 10 seconds. So I feel about a cold coming. Um, remember, this is your damage over time ability along with Slaughter. I recommend using these two together when possible. And Fury, this is if you want to attack one on once. I highly recommend don't doing that. So you can probably discard that ability. Uh, assault, this is your main damaging weapon, and then, uh, sorry, ability, and then overpower, which is your which is your uh, ultimate, or you can use Gothic's Blessing or similar if you prefer to use something else. Right, this is how you'll be getting to the Aurises. This is from the Eagle's Peak Lodestone. So, oops, so, and you have to talk to Cappy here to travel. And it's over this way whenever I can move. <coughs> Past the spiky cavettes. If it loads, there we go. And here they are. Right, so these, right, just give you a quick overview of what they are. These ones that are on their knees, these are the range slash magic ones. These are the ones that you do not want to kill if you are using melee, as they will absolutely destroy you. And these ones that are standing up, these are the ones you want to fight if you are using melee. So you will stand a better chance of not getting killed. So, let me uh, just find one to kill. I'll kill that one there, fight that one. This one here. This is basically what you did, just normal early. Oh, when, when they bang on the chest, it means they are going to do their um, ultimate attack. Which uh, is the one that does all the damage. So just watch out for that. Oh, and after you do so much damage, they will increase their defense. And it does uh, 
kind of significantly as well because it does reduce damage by quite a considerable amount. Let's keep killing this. As you see that I didn't I didn't I'll leave it. Right, just... There it goes again, right special attacks about to come. I'd advise when ever it does that to eat slightly as well because it can do see as you just see now that eight nearly nineteen hundred damage in one hit. So uh but for some reason as well, when you get them down to about 1000 HP, they seem to be near enough un invulnerable. You can't even kill them. So for example, there's a special attack again. Let's keep, uh, let's keep attacking watching. There we go. With a killing needs, if you're on Slayer Test, you do receive 2000 Slayer experience. That's doubled, obviously. Sorry. 1000 normally. This is a typical drop, really. You normally got a crim Crimson Charm. And then, oops, sorry. You, get a crim you can get a Crimson Charm, then you get the Orbit Bones. Orbit, sorry, I'm just saying Orbit. And then you get a variety of stuff like <coughs> Room Weapons and stuff like that. You can also get a chance of getting these new gloves, which I'm not entirely sure how much they are worth at the minute. Yeah. So, overall, when killing these, I uh, just highly recommend watch out for when they thump on their chest, especially if you are meleeing the ones that are on. Um, all all fours, which I don't recommend doing in general, but that's up to you. And um, yeah, make me watch your HP as well. How much I say from we're making? I would say estimate um, if you can kill these reasonably quick. I would reckon I would say you're probably looking at around four mil plus per hour. Okay, thank you for watching this uh, this uh, extra long edition of X Star Killer X's guides, and I will see you again. I've been Star Killer. Thanks for watching.